What's going on everybody, it's Snowdrift here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to tune your Power Commander 3. video kicked off I would ask if you enjoy the video to please like and share it and if you're new to the channel please subscribe we've all, we're always doing something cool here on the channel I'm always trying to bring you guys exciting and neat content and a few how-to videos here and there as well so this is one of those how-to videos and I really hope you enjoy it and like I said if you do please subscribe I greatly appreciate y'all support and let's go on with the video in my last how-to video when I changed the oil in my bike um, not a lot of people, but a few people complained that I just talked for the first 10 minutes. And here's the thing about this kind of stuff, you guys. I'm making these videos step by step by step. So that way, people that are completely new to this know exactly what to do. Now, if you're one of these people that are saying, hey, get on with it, show us what to do, and you just want to skip the explanation, you're either smart enough to skip to the parts where I'm actually doing something in the video, or you're too smart for your own good and you're the one that needs to be watching it the most. And if you're in that big of a hurry, then you probably don't need to be changing the oil on your bike anyway. Just wait till next time, okay? So now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys, step by step, how to tune your Power Commander because I am walking into this with a completely fresh set of eyes. I've never done this before, and I wanted to show you guys how to do this from a completely noob standpoint, because I work with computers every day. It's my job, but I have never tuned a car, never tuned a bike. I've never actually had my bike or car of mine on a dyno. I've seen it done plenty of times, and those guys are in a whole different world, but I wanna show you guys how to tune your motorcycle at home if you already have a Power Commander 3. The problem with this video is that I don't feel like it'll be a complete video because my bike, which you can't really see right now, but it's it's right here, it already came with a Power Commander 3 on it when I bought it. And so the whole step of installing it, I really wanted that to be part of this video, but Power Commander, Dino Jet Power Commander actually has extremely detailed and well laid out instructions on their website. I will link everything down in the description for what I found. And I figured all this out on about 30 minutes worth of research, guys. So I know you guys can do it too. I just wanted to show you a video representation of exactly how to do this because a lot of people like to see it in person before they want to tackle it themselves because this can be kind of scary if you don't know what you're doing. So. I wanted you guys to learn from my mistakes, if I make any, today, so that way you don't make any in the future. So with all that stuff being said, without further ado, let me show you how to tune your Power Commander 3. Before we get started, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need. Tool number one, keys. Tool number two, a micro USB cord. And this is the same kind of cord that will plug into your GoPro. It's literally the same thing. You can actually use your GoPro uh, cable that you use to charge it, but um, I've got this really long one. It's six feet long. And uh, I actually bought this from Walmart, and this is an old PlayStation 3 controller charger. And so the nice thing about these is that you can go and buy like, you can go buy one of these for about, you can get one that's a foot long or three feet long or whatever for like, you know, You'll, you'll be paying a good bit of money. I got this one. It's six feet long. It transfers power and data. And the data is really important on this, you guys. But um, power too, obviously. But you can get these that do not transfer data. And that's not going to that's not gonna do you any good. So, But I got this at Walmart for like six bucks, I think. And it was just a little Walmart brand PlayStation 3 controller charger. So you're going to need one of these. You don't have to have a six foot long one. But uh, I figure it's easiest, you know, the more you got. And the last thing you're going to need is a laptop of some sort. You can use a computer, like a desktop computer, but I feel like the laptop is going to work out much easier for if you have to do this out in your garage and, you know, it's a big hassle. You can do it with a computer, but I figure a laptop is a lot easier for this job. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is you're going to want to go on Dino Jet Power Commander's website 
and I'm gonna show you guys an overlay while I talk about this kind of stuff. So you're gonna to go to their website, you're gonna punch in your year motorcycle, your make, your model, and your year for your bike. And you're gonna go and find where it has the Power Commander 3. Now the Power Commander 3, unfortunately, is getting up there in the age. Uh, a lot of people will have Power Commander 5s by now, and um, keep a lookout in a future video because uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have something to do with that pretty soon. So we're gonna find where it says Power Commander 3 after we input what kind of bike that we have. And so we're gonna go and we're gonna look at the download section of the Power Commander 3 and you're gonna to wanna to download the Power Commander 3 software. So just hit download on that. It doesn't take very long. I think it's like, it might be, I think it's less than 30 megabytes, honestly, for just the zip file. And so we're gonna unzip that and we're gonna install it onto our laptop. So we're gonna do that and once we have that on our laptop, well, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. You're good to go. And so you have everything you need at this point to tune your power commander. Now, what we're going to do is that I'm not a tuner. I, I don't know anything about this stuff. I don't have a dyno. I, I don't have any. I don't even know where to begin, but I do understand the numbers. For each one of these numbers that you can see here, the zeros represents a base map on your ECU that comes from the factory, that comes from the manufacturer of your motorcycle. You can put a negative number and you can put just a regular number and whatever number you put in there, that is going to be a percentage of fuel added or taken away from the base map that's put on your ECU from the day that it's brought out of the factory. So, we're gonna scroll down where the, on the Power Commander website, we're going to scroll down from where it says Power Commander 3 and we're going to look at the maps that you can download. And if we scroll right down here, we can see that they have a 2006 CBR 1000 RR with a full Acropovic exhaust and an aftermarket or stock air filter. That sounds a lot like what we have here. So I'm going to download this map file and it only takes a second to download. It's only five kilobytes. And that's pretty amazing that something that small is going to pretty much change the horsepower of your motorcycle. That's pretty impressive stuff. Okay, so before you can send the map over to your power commander, we need to get to it. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to hook everything up. So to get to your power commander on my particular bike, let me show you what to do. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna put your key in this here keyhole. And the seat's gonna pop up. Grab the seat, rip it off. So once you're in the tail section of your bike, most bikes are gonna have them back here. So there's your power commander, okay? So, the power commander's not powered on. So, if you plug, if you plug it in to the laptop, the laptop's not going to know what the heck you just plugged into it. So, all you got to do, take your USB, plug it into the laptop. Okay, easy peasy. Then, with the other end, you're going to take it and you're going to plug it into the power commander. And it plugs in right there. See that? Alright, so once you got it plugged in, you're pretty much done with the power commander. Just, you got it. It's good. So then you're going to take your key and you're going to turn your bike on. All right, you're just going to leave your bike on, guys. So now you see that the power commander has power. You're good to go. Once you do that, it'll have the serial number pop up for your power commander. It'll have your throttle position. And if you watch this, this is kind of cool. You can actually twist your throttle and it'll tell you what throttle percentage that you're at. All the way up to 100%. So that's pretty cool. So now you can see that this thing has its, there's no map on this guy. Um, so there's just, there's nothing going on with it. And from here you can professionally tune it if you know how, um, that's beyond me. But I will show you what to do to put a tune on it. So remember that map that we downloaded earlier? We're gonna go over here and we're going to go to open map file 
and you're going to want to navigate to where your Power Commander 3, where, where you downloaded your Power Commander 3 map file at. Right here is where I have mine. It's Power Commander 3 full Acropublic exhaust with stock or aftermarket air filter is the one that I downloaded. It's the it's the M125-003 is the one that I downloaded. So you're going to click that. You're going to click open. And as you can see, it automatically filled the table up for me. So that's it. That is a map that was done by DinoJet for my bike with my aftermarket parts that I have on the bike. After that, you're going to want to go over here to where it says send map and you're just going to click send map. Then it's going to tell you that the Power Commander map was sent successfully. You're going to hit OK. And that's all there is to it. And I've read that after you send the map, you need to leave the Power Commander on and hooked up to the computer for about 30 or 45 seconds so that way it has a chance to load all the files that you just sent to it. So after it's been about 30 45 seconds, maybe even a minute, you go over here, turn your bike off, okay, because you don't want to unhook the Power Commander from the computer while the bike is still on. I just, you know, that just seems like a bad idea to me. So then you can go ahead and unhook your Power Commander and you can place your Power Commander back in its nice little hole over here. Pop your seat back on, and you're good to go. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to putting a tune on your Power Commander 3, for those of you that didn't already know how to do it. Um, and if you didn't know how to do it, why are you here? <laughs> so one thing that I would suggest doing is making sure your bike still starts, because if it doesn't start, you're going to have some major problems. So I know you can't see it, but I know you'll be able to hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the blade, make sure it still runs, make sure it still revs and uh, we'll close out the video. Well, the fuel pump prime, that's a good sign. All right, you guys, that's all there is to it. Started up just fine, sounded just fine. So, um, and here's here's the unfortunate part. Um, I'm not gonna be able to ride it for you guys today. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go to Cycle Gear uh, this Friday. All of my gear, the padding inside my helmets, my jacket, everything's in the wash right now. And so, I don't have any way to ride the bike and I'm not gonna ride it down the road, you know, with no gear on. That's just not how I roll literally so um but i will upload a second video um, of my trip on the way down to cycle gear on friday today's wednesday the fourth we're gonna wait till friday the sixth and we're gonna ride it to cycle gear and i'll upload a video separate from this one showing how i feel the difference between what this thing was sitting at stock versus how it is now with the tuned power commander 3. One thing that I said earlier in the video is that I really that I didn't feel like this was going to be a complete video because I wasn't able to show you guys the installation of the Power Commander 3 and that's because it came on my bike when I bought it. And the reason that I had to remap the bike um, is because I lost the map that was on there because I had to put a new battery in the bike. And from my understanding when you disconnect the Power Commander from power, i.e. your battery, it loses all of its saved data. Um, so I figured there would be like an onboard battery to remember the tune, but when I first initiated the Power Commander software, there's another button on there that says get map and get table. Well, when I hit that button, nothing, came, nothing was sent to my computer. So really my Power Commander was running off of no map. So it was just running off the stock ECU for a very long time, like a very, a very long time. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll actually be able to tell you guys like, hey, you know, this is, this is like a big thing. This, this actually worked. Um, but the thing is, is that I feel like uh, I, I really wanted to show you guys how to install it. And pretty soon I probably will, but not with the Power Commander 3. So stay tuned for that 
What I will show you guys is some screenshots that I took. This is all of the information on how to install the Power Commander 3, but this is for my motorcycle. You can go yourself and punch in your own motorcycle, make, model, and year, and you can go to the Power Commander 3 or Power Commander 5, and it will show you the installation instructions for whichever that you have. So, with all that being said, with all this being explained, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much, and I hope that if you've never touched this before, uh, let, let's say that this is a, a Power Commander tune for dummies, if you will. All of the super smart internet people out there that think that I explain too much. Uh, this is for the people that actually want to do this correctly. So, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate your support for the channel and there will be more cool and exciting videos to come. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I wanna be a good man. I wanna see God. I wanna be faithful, but I know that I'm not. I wanna be a good man. I wanna do right.